Beautiful energy. How are you, hey, Tiffany? I'm, I'm Andrea. Nice to meet you, Andrea. Great to meet you. Yes. I'm here with Black Tree TV. Hey. Just want to know what's going on with uh, the Carmichael Show. How's that process going for you? Well, the Carmichael Show is fantastic. It's super fun to work on. Well, you know what I love about the show is when Gerard asked me to come in and be a part of it and everything, I was like, Gerard, I just want to do something that means something. That's what I want to be a part of, things that mean something. And he was like, not a problem. And then he hit me with the transgender episode. I was like, oh, yeah, this means something. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Black Lives Do Matter. That's a good episode. Oh man, are we doing Plan B? We talking about, okay, all right, we doing things. And I am so excited. Oh look, my ride's here. <laughs> <laughs> the popos, they looking for me. Anyways, they not looking for me. No, no, no. No, right? <laughs> But um, I'm so excited to be a part of that because I feel like it's really given our community a voice and not just one voice, but multiple points of view. And that's what's so awesome about the show. It's like not one closed minded point of view. It's a lot of different point of views. And the writers are so good and they allow us to be ourselves. You know, Nikesha, that the character I play, is really Tiffany Haddish times 10. Mm -hmm. Or maybe, maybe just by one. But it don't matter. It's me. That's awesome. So what else can we look forward to from you? Um, I'll be appearing in a movie called Keanu with Kim Peele. Um, I'm the lead lady in it, not to be bragging. And um, that's coming out April 29th. And then there's a whole lot more stuff getting ready to come out on TV that your girl is a part of. I'm going to change this thing, girl. These foster kids is coming up. Because I was a foster kid. Oh, wonderful. Side note, side note. I didn't know that. Somebody love me. The, the, the state of California. They love me. That's awesome. So what did growing up as a foster child, how did that play into your career at all? Uh, it played major in my career. I started in stand-up comedy, and that's because my social worker gave me two choices. She said, you can either go to the Laugh Factory comedy camp, or you can go to psychiatric therapy. Which one you want to do? And I was like, which one got drugs? She said, oh, you're going to be on drugs if you go to therapy. So I went to comedy camp, and here I am today. Uh, uh, you know, maybe I'm on drugs occasionally, but uh, I do what I got to do. And it it's... It gave me confidence. It was the first time a man ever told me I was beautiful, that I was talented, that I was worth something and I didn't feel like they were going to hurt me or do something bad to me. And it was the first place I ever felt empowered, being on stage and being able to share whatever my thoughts are and people responding to them, whether they be good or bad, it, it, it empowered me as a, as a young girl feeling like nobody cared and just being moved from here to there. It's the most, that was the most uplifting thing for me and so I feel like I was cut out for this entertainment thing because from moving from house to house and feeling rejected, it's just like auditioning for gigs, right? You're like, oh man, that, I'm going to kill this. And then they don't, they'd be like, oh yeah, we love what you did. And then they never call. And you're like, oh my God, that's like my first foster home. Or, you know, like, so I'm cut out for it. So where other, other people that I work with might feel like down and out because they didn't get this gig, I feel like, oh well, on to the next one. On the next foster home, I'm going to feed me better anyways. Like, that's how I think of it. So it's awesome. It yeah, I can tell you're a very strong woman. So tell me about your hairstyle as well. Because, you know, it's the barber shop and you got the locks going, girl. They looking yes, fabulous. Girl, I'm my faux locks yes. that I got from the Sloss and Swap Me. Uh, <laughs> get you a crochet needle, braid your hair down, and slip them in, girl. And it's cool. If four or five hours of sitting there being patient. And that, you know, I'm strong. <laughs> so let, tell me about the craziest hairstyle you've ever gotten. The craziest hairstyle I ever gotten was uh, crochet braids in a mohawk, and it was purple, and it kind of all went to the side. And everybody was like, you look like a rock star. And I was like, I need to come out with an album. Um, do you do music as well? Um, I can sing a little bit. Let me hear you sing a little bit for us. <clears throat> Left a good job in the city, working for the man every night and day. But I never lost one minute of sleep and I worried about the way things might have been. Uh, uh, you got to pay me for the rest. And that was good, though. I like that a lot. <laughs> well, thank you so much thank for taking the so time much. with us. It was great I to meet you. you.